Hey, what is I think this video will help you guys, and I do find it interesting, so I hope you guys find it interesting as well. But like always, if you could leave a like on the video, it does help me out. And also, please consider subscribing to my channel for more Grand Theft Auto 5 content every single day. With that said, I'm going to be comparing the first person mode from next gen and current gen in Grand Theft Auto 5. If you want to go and check out how you can get first person in current gen, I will leave the link to the tutorial in the description below. Now, this tutorial will allow you to get into first person mode. It's a very easy way to do it and it's just a small little glitch in the game not game breaking at all it's been known for quite a few months now and a lot of people do it just to see exactly what first person would be like if it was in current gen so let's get into this video and let's take a small comparison so what I'm going to be showing you now is first person current gen Xbox 360 and PlayStation 3 against first person on next gen, which is of course Xbox One and PlayStation 4. Now already looking at this comparison, we can see huge, huge differences. One being of which that if we take a look at the Xbox 360 slash PlayStation 3 version, uh, you will notice this first person tutorial uh, will give you so much more of a broader vision. It will make you think everything is further away and it's not as much into scale. It's kind of pushed away from you wherever you look. Uh, as well as this, the graphics on the interior and around the map, of course, aren't as good. You don't see as many reflections and everything seems to be a bit more blurry. And let's not forget, this is recorded with the same capture device and I've literally just jumped on and recorded it now. So the game is pretty much live to how it is now. So as you can see, everything isn't as detailed. And comparing it to next gen, I'm not really a fan of saying this. Uh, but it shows how much of a base a Grand Theft Auto current gen was. It shows how underdeveloped the game was in terms of the whole plan of GTA 5. And I'm, I'm sure there's still plenty more to come. Uh, for example, the 4K resolution we'll be getting in PC. That's going to make an amazing little com comparison video right there. But as you can see here, looking back into next gen, we see there's lighting, there's reflections. Everything is designed for first person. We can see our guns, we can see our hands. Everything is up to scale. All the physics are correct as well. Uh, meanwhile, if you take a look back at current gen uh, we will notice that like I said the lighting isn't as good and the game is not developed for first person so going into first person will make everything look a bit more glitchy for example you will not be able to see your weapon when you do end up shooting you will only see the bullet uh, now this will, work, this will work you can shoot people you can still kill people in this game uh, but it's a lot more difficult to do and your character will spaz out you'll see this here I'll certainly do loads of circles as well uh, so the whole first person thing isn't really uh, based on in GTA 5 so I wouldn't recommend using first person in current gen at all using this tutorial unless you know any other better tutorials to do so uh, but it's still pretty cool to see what it's like in first person looking at the game in first person it allows you uh, to get much more of a perspective to see what the game would be like now the draw distance as well still isn't as good as we see in next gen so everything seems to be living up to the specs next gen would say it would uh, however, I can't really say current gen is uh, anything well performed for first person. I can't really go into why this is not good in first person because the game is not ready for first person. Uh, but like I said, I mean, I hate to say it, but it does show how much of a beta this game is comparing it to the next gen version because everything looks so much cleaner. When I first came onto this game, it's been quite a few days since I have been on the current gen version of GTA 5. And I, I have to say, the, the version looks a lot more blurry. Everything looks kind of out of proportion and there's not much reflection. Everything just isn't in as much detail as we saw beforehand. So I think it's really cool to do this comparison. I'm not sure about you. I just think it's really interesting to do. Uh, but like I said, it's not really the, the best thing to do because uh, you can't really compare this and it's not really something you want to compare but looking at both games I think it has to be done as first person was a way to remaster the game as they did say so I think it's something really cool I hope you guys did enjoy it if you do please feel free to leave a like and subscribe let me know what you think in the comments section below uh, and also uh, let me know uh, if you have any questions about this in the comment section below do you know any other specs with this do you want me to do this when PC comes out uh, but I hope you do enjoy this video guys and I'll see you guys next time